Hi, my name is Chef Justin and you're watching Jobek Today. Hello and welcome to Jobek Today. I am Nashina Mohammed, and it's wonderful to have you with us this Friday. Hello, Joburg Magazine's cover in this month of love features Chef Justin of Aurelia's restaurant at Emperor's Palace. Well, we had the opportunity to join the team for a nine-course meal. We're here basically to um, experience Aurelia's restaurant, which is at the Doriel Grand Hotel at Emperor's Palace. We interviewed Chef Justin Jonah on the front cover of Hello Joburg magazine for our February issue. And it was a great story about the chef and uh, the food that he creates and the ambiance and the experience. So we thought it'd be nice to get an experience together for our readers and some of our networking people, our bloggers and our social media influencers to actually come here at Aurelia's and uh, see everything that Chef Justin has to, uh, has to offer. The main inspiration was that uh, I want to share my memories with you. Um, the cuisine that has been with me for the last 11 years and uh, yeah, wanted to let you experience all the things I experience with food and all the attachments that I have with it and all the good memories that I have with it. So the first course, uh, it was a, a rum jelly with a pineapple. It was a fresh course just to get you, get you, get you frisky and going on and getting ready for the next course which was the salad caprese. And then the, the third one was the consomme, again classical consomme but we serve the soup, we pour the soup into it, so there's a bit of interaction with that. But all the elements of a classic consomme again. I think uh, after that was uh, the sorbet. That one was meant to catch you on your throat a bit. I think it might have been a little bit too strong. The main course was uh, karoo lamb, and uh, that was with uh, orange butternut and parsnip puree. So I made the fondant, uh, the, the sweet potato fondant, and uh, we did black garlic. So I started fermenting the garlic six weeks ago. First batch was a bomb, and then I did the second batch, which just got right, uh, ripe in the last two days. So uh, yeah, a fair amount of work into that garlic, three weeks, six weeks really. And then uh, after that, I think it was, the, it was dessert, a study of milk tart. So a little bit of a caramelized milk, that, you know, everyone's got to burn the first milk tart mixture when you make it. So the caramel was a play on that. So like, we take the milk tart and we cooked it really slowly to make the caramel. And then we made milk tart macaroons with cinnamon. And so it was just an expression of milk tart in all different, in all different forms and textures. And then uh, it was cheese, which came in I didn't want to confuse your palate on, I uh, just kept it plain and simple with Camembert with honeycomb and and and, uh, and figs, and then camembert with with uh, honeycomb and, and but brittle honeycomb and pistachio, and then baked camembert with uh, Fabri cherries, which is awesome. So, and then uh, the last one was a mignardise, just a nice way to end the dinner. So. I thought it was going to be a long evening, but it was it was past. We had great company. The food was awesome. The presentation was fantastic. Chef coming out of the kitchen to uh, come chat to us the pairings of the wine and even allowing us to go and plate our own, our own dishes. It was awesome, really, really, truly an awesome experience. Awesome, awesome to learn about new foods, new wine. Uh, Marlene was amazing. She taught me a lot about the new, new wines and how to pair with, with the food. Um, new experience. I think it was exciting for, for both of us. I'm John Tarod and you're watching Joburg Today. Like us on Facebook, joburgtoday.tv and follow us on Twitter at Joburg Today. Two sisters, Tobeka and Bongeka, launched a pop-up store at Mandela Square in Santon, which is self-funded. This has always been an aspiration for the sisters, that is to bring a luxurious fragrances bar to the Johannesburg market. Well, Tumi chatted to Tobeka about their new exciting venture. There's a new luxury fragrance pop-up store in town and sitting with me today is one of the founders of the luxury bar. Tobega, thank you so much for joining us today. 
Thank you for having me, Dumi. Can you please tell us a bit more about the luxury brand? It's a pop-up store. Um, we believe it's the first one um, in Johannesburg. We're very pleased to bring the Johannesburg people a selection, a wide selection of luxury perfumes that they can shop. They are mainly from Italy and France. Um, and we believe that, you know, we, our, our, our customers will be spoiled for, cho for choice. Why did you feel the need to, to open up, you know, a luxury fragrance pop-up store? Like, why did you feel that, you know, Johannesburg is the perfect place for something like this? Johannesburg is a leading global city. Um, the, the citizens of Johannesburg love luxury. We have seen it with the emergence of various luxury stores that are doing well in the country. So we recognize that there is um, a need for a niche uh, fragrance market. What do you think that your brand has to, has to offer? What is it that, that makes you stick out from the rest? It's a bar um, set up where you can, if, if you have time, you come in, you sip some champagne, you test out, you try out all these lovely new fragrances. And it's just an experience as well as the quality of the products we're bringing to the market. Mm -hmm. um, what, what kind of products do you bring? I know you said you obviously specialize in fragrances. Is there any, like, any specific or like, unique fragrance that I would find at your pop-up store that I would perhaps not find at another fragrance store? What we're focusing on are fragrances that are manufactured by small niche perfumers in Italy and in France. And the, um, and the case for um, niche fragrances is really on the, the fact that they are not readily available everywhere. They are for a select market, a market that wants a distinct smell, a market that wants a distinct treatment and experience. So they don't want to smell like the next person. We, we're quite comfortable that those that come to our store will find something they will love. And if you are new to the world of niche fragrances, you will learn something and, and, and we hope that you'll find and, and lock yourself into a, a typical or a type of a fragrance that will speak to you, that you will identify with. Thank you so much for joining us today, Tomega. I definitely look forward to, you know, paying the store a bit of a visit. Thank you. We're looking forward to having you. So you've heard it all from Tomega about the new pop-up store in Santon. Be sure to go out there and check it out. From myself, Dumi Tapo, I'm out. And that brings us to the end of the show. But for more coverage on the city, check out our playlist. And that's it from Inoshina. Have an amazing weekend. <laughs>